Hello everybody, this is Dreaming the Yurt to kick off the last 16 round. We're going to have four matches in this session. Starting off with Broxy going up against Maastrichian. Blood Moon taking on Iron Dan. The Champions team going up against El Gozzi. And then Dragon Destroyer going up against Toka Nightmare. Right, without further ado, let's go with our first match. Ooh, okay, okay, that's good news for Maastrichian. In the red corner though, for Broxy, we've got the Margosaurus. Broxy topping Group D, defeating Dino Smash in the last 32 round to get here, has looked really good in this tournament. But I have a feeling this will be one of the sternest tests so far. Backing up the Amarga, we got Stegosaurus. Bing. Mastrician will have terrain advantage with the Eoraptor. Although, I think the last time the Eoraptor had terrain advantage, they lost, so is that a bad omen for Mastrician? Possibly. Right, for Mastrician in the blue corner, we got Big Bad Bromplikins. Mastrician, five wins on the spin since losing in round one against the hosts. Look, looking really strong in this tournament. This is going to be a really tough test for Broxy. And yeah, but I will say, whoever goes through in this matchup has the potential to go all the way. Right, backing up the Bronticans, we got Eoraptor. Eoraptor will have terrain advantage. Ooh. Mastrician fighting fire with fire, going with the stick. Well, they don't get the choice. It's completely random what Eoraptor becomes. Okay, so Mastrician swaps when HP's in the yellow, Broxy in the red. We have the winner of Group D going up against the runner-up in Group E. Ooh, that's a good start for the Broxy there. Getting off a power drain. Gonna sap away the Bronticans' HP. Suck the life out of the bit. Oh, that's a terrible amount of damage. Oh, you can... Oh, more button spamming. Another power drain. Good start from Broxy, though. And it will be time to swap out the Bronthikins. Which could be good for Broxy, because it gets Eoraptor in the mix. But the Eoraptor will get a hit, because it has the terrain advantage. Ooh, there's the swap. I think an Earth Barrier will probably happen, so Bronthikins will have protection there. Heal up quite good. Oh, no, we're going to see Aqua Javelin instead. Ooh. I think Mastrician would have probably preferred an Earth Barrier there, but what they won't mind is this crit courtesy of the terrain advantage. And no, Broxy swaps when HP's in the red, and it is time for them to attempt that swap. Oh, it's a tie, but it's going to be Sand Trap. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ties do suit Maastrician, though. No, is it gonna be? A... Wow, no sand trap there, but a Margosaurus does go down. Hmm. Broxy needs a crit. Yeah, well, he's not gonna get a crit, but he is gonna get the next hit. And it's a Venom fan. Chipping away at your Raptor, but he really needs to take it out quick, because that Bronthikins is healing up. And well, the worst case scenario though would be to give Eoraptor a chance to swap out, which he has. But can Maastrician take that chance? That's the question. Oh, it's a tie, but you know what that means. It's Sand Trap. You know, on the third attempt of asking. Uh, it doesn't look good for Broxy. Maastrician poised to make it six wins in a row. The poison is having an effect on the Eoraptor, though, I will say that. Ooh, that could be a big hit from the Steg. That should be lethal for the Eoraptor. And Bronthikins will come in and get hit. Broxy not out of it yet. The Spitties. But actually, this hit will put Broxy in the lead. It does. 
And well, I don't think we're going to see spectral armor unless we get like a tie spam. Bront begins getting a crit though. Okay, yeah, that pretty much confirms there'll be no spectral armor in this matchup. But Master Shield won't be too bothered because they're one hit away from winning. Oh, ooh, hang on. Have they won it? This Aqua Javelin might actually do the job. Oh, it does! Master Shield makes his six, uh, six in a row to knock Broxy out of the tournament. Broxy falls at the last 16 hurdle and Master Shield advances, marches I should say, to the quarterfinals. And yeah, well, when you got Brontnikins and Eoraptor, that's not really a surprise, is it? But the big question is, can anyone take them down? Right, on to our next matchup now to find out who Maastrichian's next opponent will be. Well, this is this could be an interesting match. Ooh. Well, if you're Iron Dan, you are very happy with this field. Because this T-Rex of Blood Moons is going to have terrain disadvantage. Which means the Stegosaurus is going to get the first hit. Hmm, interesting. I'm backing up the T-Rex, we've got the Deinonychus, which might actually have to do something for once. Well, Iron Dan, Iron Dan could do this. They knocked Ultima Dino King out in the upset of the last 32 round. Can they knock Blood Moon out? Uh, let's double check. Oh no, they don't. No one has grass dinosaurs. <laughs> Actually, I don't think any grass dinosaurs have got through. Oh no, no. Team Africa got through to the last 32 with a grass dinosaur, but I think that's. Oh, and Diddy Darius, but that's it. <laughs> Right, backing up the steg, we've got Spinosaurus, Super Spinosaurus. Awaker mode on four. Ooh. Well, again, especially on this field, if you're Iron Dan, mildly confident, you. Of course, if you're Blood Moon, you get that crit off. You're going to be laughing, but both of these guys got powerful crits. Could come down to who get, gets their crits off. But Iron Dan will get the first hit, and an Earth Barrier will probably activate, maybe? Indeed it does! Right, Blood Moon swaps when HP's below half, Iron Dan in the red. Ooh, don't want to go scissors, but Blood Moon does have the protection of Alpha Dark, and actually, a perfect counter here from Blood Moon to that Earth Barrier, because Alpha Dark will go straight through it. Ah, oh, it's a dish! And I think he'll get rid of it as well. A good counter hit there from Blood Moon. Ooh, but Iron Dan does strike next. Get maxing up the technique boost. Will we see another Earth Barrier? And we do. But I think that'll be it now for Earth Barrier. I believe it has a maximum limit of two. Blood Moon getting back, getting a hit back there. Not getting the crit that she wants, but getting hits on the board. Of course, a crit would be irrelevant here because the Earth Barrier is in effect. Eats up the Earth Barrier. Oh, that's a tie. Okay, it's time to swap out the T-Rex. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh. Iron Dan dodging the bullet there. Dodging that one as well. Doesn't want to get hit by a crit. Ooh, but Blood Moon does get the hit, which will enable him to swap into Deinonychus. Slight problem though, when the T Rex comes back in, it's going to get hit. And if it gets hit by the Spino, it might die anyway. Ooh, Iron Dance. Oh yeah, Iron Dance turn to swap now. Could be a decisive moment if the Stegosaurus goes down here. Which it might. Oh, 
it's gonna go down. Deinonychus is gonna get the hit. Stegosaur is going down, and that will put Blood Moon in the lead. But as I said, we won't count Iron Dan out yet because when and if the T-Rex comes back in, it will get hit, and it could get hit with an awakened hit. Oop, that's a tie. Iron Dan really needs to start getting hits here. These ties aren't helping. They're only helping Blood Moon. Ooh, and there is a hit. There is an Alpha Dice. A six would be welcome. But a four will do nicely. Okay, that's twice. Almost lost count then, but that's twice. <laughs> right, Deinonychus, it's time to swap into the T-Rex. Oh, he's not going to get the swap. Could that be a turning point? Because now the T-Rex comes back in. It's going to get hit with a terrain disadvantage. Is Blood Moon in trouble? That's three times, so we won't have the Awaken mode. But actually, it's for Dabba Cannon. I think Iron Dan's won. Iron Dan, is he about to win? I think this is going to be lethal. Oh, Blood Moon survived for the skin of his teeth. But yeah, Iron Dan is well on top now. Can Blood Moon survive? Oh, he does. He does survive. And all of a sudden, look at this. It all comes down to this. Iron Dan's still in the driving seat though, but a free would be nice for Blood Moon. Oh, he's going for the crit. Nothing to lose now. Oh, it's game over for Blood Moon! The T-Rex is rampage ends, ironically, against the Spinosaurus. And it's Iron Dan continuing his run in the tournament to go through to the quarters to face Maastrician. And that is all she wrote for Blood Moon. 16 round, last 16 round, really delivering so far. Right, let's see if this next matchup delivers. Well, well, well. In the red corner for the champions team, we've got the Alpha Chasmosaurus in the Alpha Arena. Wow, this is twice that the champions team have got the Alpha Arena. Awesome. I bet some of you, some of you other saps that have Alpha Dinosaurs are like, Oh, come on, how does he get the Alpha Arena all the time? <laughs> Backing up the uh, Chasmosaurus, we got Rukok. Can the champions team be the first bot team ever to reach a quarter final? Or will help Igozi put an end to their reign of terror in this tournament? Right, for Gozi in the blue corner, we have got Terry. Terry's looked, looked dominable in this tournament. <laughs> in the next tournament, I'm probably going to give it terrain advantage in the Alpha Arena. Because why not? Okay, so the Chasmosaurus will get off a banana surprise. Champions team swaps when... Wait, where is the champions team? When HP is below half. Gozzi in the red. Backing up Terry, we got the Ceratosaurus, which I've been very impressed with in this tournament. Has definitely delivered for Gozzi so far. There's no over-reliance on Terry to do everything. Ooh, I don't know. I think the terrain advantage definitely gives the champions team the edge, but Gozzi's been in good form. So, yep, here comes the banana surprise. Gonna trip Terry up early on. Wee boosh! See, it should get death fire. I'm sorry, it should get death fire. Wanna get heat eruption? Nope. Okay, well, Gozzi swaps in the red anyway. Another tie. Ooh, we're gonna see heat eruption this time though. Gozzi taking advantage of the tie spam. Ideally, you need to kill this Chasmosaurus so it doesn't get any more terrain advantages. Alright, that's. that's. Okay, yeah, that's below half. We're gonna attempt the swap. Ooh, 
but Terry gets the hit to deny the swap. Crucial that could be for Gauzy, because that means that the Chasmosaurus will stay in and will not get the chance to escape. Although, it did get a Counter Blitz triggered, so Gauzy's going to have to be careful here. In fact, it probably guarantees the champion's team at least some form of damage. Ooh, but they get the hit anyway. An even match so far. Oh, now you trigger. Now you trigger the death fire when Chasmosaurus is dead anyway in one hit. <laughs> uh, poor Gauzy. Ooh, gets the death fire off. Gonna get the swap out as well. A big hit that from Gauzy. Well, at least he got a death fire triggered. And down goes Chasmosaurus. Right, it's all on Rukops. The champion team could have a problem here. Rukops does have the type disadvantage against Terry, and Terry will heal up. So let's see how long this Ceratosaurus can stall out the Rukops. Not long given us a critical block. And that means Rugops will be going for his own crap. But the Ceratosaurus does have Dino Stutter. Oh, never mind. None of that's going to happen. Archaeoptrix Charm is going to say no. Oop, that's a tie. Gozzy will take eat those all day long. Oh, look at that. I freaking healed. <laughs> healed all the way. Another tie. Rugops does get the next hit though. Champion's team not beaten yet. A nin well, a ninja attack won't be lethal because Serato's got dino stuff. Another tie. That's it. It's all suits Gazi though because that Terry is healing up. Another tie. Ooh, now that changes things because that removes the dino stuff. But it's Gauzy getting the next hit. It's a crit. Is that going to end it for the champions team? Oop, no, no. A hit coming from Rugops. Wow, this is really intense. Oh, is it a tie? Well, the swap's gonna fail, so Terry is gonna get hit here. The Dino Stuffer saving Ceratosaurus from going down. Let's have a look how much health Terry has left. Not much. I think even with a type disadvantage, I think a ninja attack would be lethal. Wow, this is really nail-biting stuff. Oh, it's a tie! The Ceratos going down. It all comes down to this. behind to snatch victory from El Igazi and advance to the quarterfinals. Wow. Insanity. The champions team pulled it off. And we're saying ta-ta to Gazi. Wow, that was crazy. Cra wow, this last 16 round has just been it's just blown everyone away first three matches insane well let's see what happens here in this final match of this session shall we right let's see how this match stacks up oh, oh, my, oh my. <laughs> wow well i will say the terrain advantage won't be dragon destroyers alone because Toko will have it too um, okay, in the red corner for Dragon Destroyer, we've got Alphracrocamphosaurus, Dragon Destroyer, 6 out of 6 in this tournament, the only 100%ers. Backing up the acro, we've got Super Triceratops, Awaken Mode on 2. Yeah, this will be a big test for Toka. Because Dragon Destroyer, well, yeah, <laughs> 
sums it up, really, doesn't it? Six out of six. Right, in the blue corner for Token Nightmare, we got the Alpha Super Minus. Will it pull its weight in this match? Or will it fall like a lead balloon, like Spiny did in the last 32 round? It will have to deal with terrain advantage, so the Alpha Acro will get the first hit, which will be a fire cannon. Backing up the Suko, we got Super T-Rex. It's not right to ignore the fact that Toga also has terrain advantage in this match, but can they take advantage of it? So yeah, it's interesting, because even if the Suko go if the Suko dies and then the Super T-Rex comes in, kills the thingy, and then tries No. Yeah, yeah, I think I see it now. If, if the Suko kills the Acro and then the Acro kill and then Trike kills the Suko. And then Tyrannosaurus comes in with a terrain advantage. It, it could stop Triceratops's awaken mode. So yeah, really intriguing match. But first things first, let's get the terrain advantages done. Okay, so Dragon Destroyer swap. Oh, they both swap when HP is below half. But yeah, look at that type advantage. Very little damage done. I'm going to get another shot off though, another fire cannon. Good start from Dragon Destroyer. Oh, here comes a Volcano Burst, which will drop Suko's HP below half. So it'll be a time to swap it out. But will Toka get that swap? They do get the swap, and they get a crit. Ooh, Toka responding with their first attack of shot of anger in this match. Alright, lost once. Uh, okay, that's below half. Ooh, Briz the T-Rex getting the hit. Toka, after a slow start, coming back into this contest. The trike will get hit as well. A good hit round there for Toka. Right, that's twice. Ooh, but Dragon Destroyer does get the next hit on the board, but it's not a death fire, nor will he get the swap. Alright, that's three times. Almost clicked it then. Three times. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. Oh, Acro gets the hit, and the T-Rex is going to fail the swap. Is that going to kill the T-Rex? This could be a big moment, because it will stop the Awaken mode. Okay, so no Volcano Burst, which is good news here for Toka, because the T-Rex will survive to get the Awaken mode, and a tie... Well, it would be very convenient. Oh, not even a hit! Not even a tie! Well, it was worth a go, but... Oh, that's not good for Toka, because now... It'll be Super Minus going up against the Triceratops. With tight disadvantage. Big problems for Toka. Oh! Will the Triceratops even come in? The friggin' Acro again, spitting in more fire cannons and a cannonball. That didn't make sense. Oh, here comes another Volcano Burst. Toka just can't get a hit. Just can't get any hits on the board. Ah, there's a hit. The Acro at last goes down. But you got to deal with a full power trike, and it's got a wake mode to count on it as well if it needs it, which it won't. All right, there's a hit. A shockwave would be handy. Poison will be handy. It is a shockwave. But again, a tie with the awake mode will guarantee Suko's death. If Toka can survive this. Well, if Toka can survive this, 
Uh, you can't go rock. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> game over for the Super Mimers. Game over for Toka. And Dragon Destroyer makes it 7 out of 7. And goes through to play the champion team. So they'll probably make it 8 out of 8. Well, can they make it 10 out of 10? That's how, many that's how many matches they need to win to win this tournament. Win the quarterfinal, that's win number 8. Winning the semis will be win number 9. And winning the final will be win number 10. But as I said, no combatant has ever won one of my tournaments without losing a map. Right, let's have a look at our quarterfinal lineup thus far and we can end the session. Okay, so yeah, interestingly enough, we actually have a rematch from the group stage between Maastrichtian and Iron Dan. And Maastrichtian did beat Iron Dan in the group stage, although it was a close contest. So that'll be interesting. Will Iron Dan get some revenge? And also up here, the champions team, the first ever bot team to get to a quarterfinal, going up against Dragon Destroyer, yet to be defeated in this tournament. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be the end of the road for the champions team. They're not beating Dragon Destroyer. But Dragon Destroyer, wow. Can they actually do it? Can they win every match in this tournament and win the tournament? You look at their path, who could really stop them? I think probably one of Dino Hunter or Chair Knights would actually have a good chance against him. Actually, no, Chair Knights. Chair Knights would have a complete type advantage over Dragon Destroyer if they met in the semis. Out of this four, probably Chair Knights would be the one that would end their tournament. Can anyone stop Dragon Destroyer? <laughs> and they have the luxury of being on the easier side of the draw as well. Especially with freaking Drogon and Tryout already. But yeah, honestly, Iron Dan, like, they'll go into this match as underdogs by virtue of the fact that they lost to Maastrician in the group stage. If they beat Maastrician, honestly, pop them in the final. They freaking earned it. They've earned their place if they get to the final, Iron Dan. Because they could end up face. Well, if they beat Maastrician, they could end up facing Marn, Diddy, our hosts, or Zeno. So yeah, Iron Dan get, gets to the final. They freaking earned it. <laughs> But yeah, the final's a little bit of a wait yet. Right, that ends this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. And until next time, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.